I'd missed it, that little bit in the news there where Rhys Mogg's talking about we need to actually look at the rules and work out whether they were right or fair or not rather than actually properly punishing the people who broke them, in this case quite possibly the Prime Minister. It's the Owen Paterson Preservation Society, isn't it? Owen Paterson found to have acted corruptly, broken the rules governing parliamentary standards. What did Rhys Mogg do? Masterminded an abortive attempt to rip up the actual rule book in the hope of saving the crony who had broken the rules. So we should have seen that coming. I probably did. Usually I say, oh, I wish I'd seen that coming. You send me a text saying, actually, James, I think you'll find you did. But they'll try and claim that the rules... I don't think I did on this one. I, I, I don't, I'm not, not averse to giving myself a pat on the back when I deserve one, but I don't think I did see that, and I should have done. The Owen Paterson Preservation Society. Rip up the rule book rather than see your mate punished by the rules that he's broken, however egregiously and corruptly that offence might have been. In this case, they even managed to get Parliament to pass it. So what will they do? If, if Already in preparation of the Prime Minister potentially being found to have broken the rules, Jacob Rees-Mogg has launched an attack upon the rules. Can't make this stuff up anymore, can you? What are you going to do if the Prime Minister has broken the rules that everybody else obeyed and got fined and criminalised for breaking? Well, we'll be attacking the rules, obviously. We'll be attacking the rules. Just like we did... Well, it went well with Owen Paterson, didn't it? His career's over now. Doesn't matter. <sighs> I could not make it up. Dorf cap, tug forlock, good luck. 